Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. First thing, I've started taking creatine. Yeah, of course, I've tried a protein shake and uh, I've had some protein bars and all that. But I have never really taken supplements consistently. In the beginning it was because I wanted to show that you can transform your body without supplements. And you can. But creatine is one of the few supplements that have been scientifically shown to have a significant effect. So I thought that would be interesting to try. So I'll be documenting the whole process and upload a video on my Christian Nielsen channel talking about it and of course I'll let you know here as well when that video drops. Second update, summer is approaching. This means a lot of people are working hard right now to get ready, get their bodies ready for summer. If you're not sure what the best strategy is for you and if you could use some personalized workout and nutrition programs and get my guidance, check out my website in the description and sign up to get a free consultation with me. I'd love to hear more about your goals and also tell you more about my online coaching. Now for the comment of today, this is a new thing I'm beginning, from Brownie King Shorts. This one might be a bit uh, self-applauding to read, but yeah, it just made me happy to hear. He says, awesome, you have one of the best calisthenics channels on YouTube, Chris. Honest, factual information. I really appreciate that. I've been making content on YouTube for almost eight years now. And yeah, every comment, every like and subscription, it, it helps the channel grow. So just want to say I appreciate you all. Now for the topic of today's video. So warming up is extremely important, but it's still something a lot of people neglect. And even people who know it's important, they're not always sure what to do. Warming up is physically important in order to activate your sympathetic nervous system direct the blood to your muscles, loosen up your joints, and just prepare your body for action. And it's really important in order to avoid injuries. But it's actually also very important mentally. It's like putting on the gladiator armor and choosing your weapon and stepping out to the arena. Personally, I always listen to some hype music while I warm up, and this really gets me ready to destroy my workout. So this is why I want to share with you my warm-up routine. It might differ a bit from training to training, depending on what the focus on that specific training is, but this will give you a solid routine. If you already like your own warm-up routine, you can also feel free to take elements from my routine and, and implement it in yours. So this time, I'll actually record my whole warm-up, and then I'll record a voiceover. So, let's go. Now the first thing I do, as I mentioned, is putting on some music. Each person has a different taste, so put on some music that gets you hyped. Okay, maybe not that. Let's try again. Then you want to start by increasing your pulse. You can do this by running, or you can also do this with a jumping rope. This is really important. Uh, it activates your sympathetic nervous system, as I mentioned earlier, and redirects the blood flow to your muscles. And this is what you want to start by doing. And now, do each of these following warm-up exercises for about 30 seconds. We start with some passive shoulder rotation. It's passive because you're swinging your arm and you're not actively rotating it. Then after that you want to do active shoulder rotation. Then get a mattress and get down to warm up your wrists. First I go from side to side. And then with the palm of my hands in the floor and fingers against me. Then after that with my fingers pointing away from me and kind of lean into it. Then I like to do some scapula and T-spine movements, sort of like a cat stretching. Next thing you do is lunge stretches. Now personally, if I were to do a heavy leg workout, I wouldn't spend a lot of time doing these leg stretches and mobility exercises. But if I'm doing a handstand training, for instance, it can be important for different handstand shapes. Then after the lunge stretches, I switch to the hamstring stretch. And then I can really recommend this glute stretch. And now stretch your adductors. 
And then go into a split position as far down as you can while still holding it and not getting injured, of course. And then with a stick, you can do shoulder movement and mobility exercises. And then I do a simple dead hang for my shoulders and for my grip. And then I do a one arm dead hang as well. Now again, if the workout is going to be very focused on muscle ups or heavy pull ups and so on, I wouldn't do much more overhead shoulder mobility exercises as it can affect a workout like that in a negative way. But if it was a handstand workout, it's important to really open up your shoulders. If it's a handstand workout, I really love doing this supinated grip shoulder stretch as well. It really gets a good stretch on your triceps too. You can also do this variation, it's a bit easier. Make sure to not arch your back. You want to minimize arching in your handstand as well. And then do some light bodyweight exercises, some Australian pull-ups. Then I like to do some push-up variations. And then a few pull-ups. Now you're warm and ready to kill your workout. Let's go. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like if you liked it. And let me know in the comments down below what you want to see in the future. Check out the links in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video.